In this video, we'll cover beginner to intermediate level coding questions often asked in Python interviews. This is part of our ongoing series where we cover uh, interview questions on a diverse set of uh, skills. So please subscribe uh, to our channel for more such interesting learning content. And uh, at this point, let's get started. All right, this question asks, convert a string to integer using a single line of code. Imagine you have some numbers stored as a string like one, two, three, or this five over here stored in variable A, and uh, you want to use it for calculations, but computers can only perform operations on numbers. So we need to figure out a way to convert this uh, string into a number first. Uh, so over here uh, in this particular code, let's say we have a variable A uh, having this uh, string assigned to it. I'll just initialize this. Uh, in a single line, we use the int function Inside the parenthesis, we pass the variable a, which holds the string value. This function attempts to convert the string content to a corresponding integer. And finally, we print the number. Similarly, if you want uh, this integer value to be stored in a separate variable, you can do that too. This question asks, write a code snippet to convert a string to a list. In Python, Converting a string into a list is a common task. You can achieve this using the built-in split function. This function splits the string based on a specific separator, effectively creating a list of individual elements from the original string. So here's how we can use the split function. First of all, uh, we define this uh, variable string1 and assign the value analytics with their to it. We then use the split method on uh, string one. By default, the split function uh, uses any white space character, including spaces, tabs, and new line as the delimiter. This means it will split the string at every white space, creating a list of individual words. And using this print function, we observe the result. All right, the next question is, write a code snippet to reverse a string. So reversing a string is a classic coding challenge that involves taking a string and flipping its character order. In this question, we'll explore a method to reverse a string without relying on Python's built-in reversing functions, demonstrating a hands-on approach to string manipulation. So we start off by creating a variable string1 containing the st uh, string which is to be reversed. So I'll initialize this. We then create an empty variable uh, string2 uh, that will eventually hold the reversed results. The for loop iterates through each uh, character in string one. Uh, inside the loop, we take the current character and append it to the beginning of string two using concatenation. This effectively builds the reversed string character by character. And finally, we print both the original as well as the reverse string to see the transformation. So here's the result that we get. Our uh, string is reversed. This question asks, write a code snippet to sort a list in Python. Sorting data is a crucial task in programming. Python makes this effortless with the sort method, which can arrange the elements of a list in ascending order. Let's dive into how it works. We first create a list named uh, my list. It has uh, three numbers, three, one, and two, obviously in unsorted order. We then use the sort method directly on uh, my list. Uh, this method rearranges the elements of the list in ascending order from smallest to largest. It's important to note that uh, sort modifies the original list in place, meaning it changes the order of elements within the same list. Finally, we print uh, the my list to display its sorted contents. And there we go, the elements are sorted now. All right, our next question is, how can you delete a file in Python? So Python provides a way to delete files using the OS module. Uh, this module offers functionalities for interacting with the operating system and the OS remove function specifically allows you to remove a file. Exercising caution is crucial when deleting files. Once a file is removed, it's generally unrecoverable. Make sure you intend to delete the specific file before using this code. So let's say we create this particular text file within our runtime using this line of code. Once we do that, uh, a file with this name text1.txt gets created in our runtime, as you can see over here. Uh, post that, we import the OS uh, module. Then we call the os.remove function on the text file we want to delete. 
this function attempts to remove the specified file and uh, if we check the runtime once again the file is deleted successfully this question asks how to access an element of a list in python lists are ordered collection of items accessing individual elements within a list is straightforward using uh, square brackets and the elements index indexing starts from zero the first element in the list has an index of 0, the second element has an index of 1 and so on. Uh, coming on to the solution, we create a list called my list containing numbers 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Let's initialize this. To access the first element, we use uh, my list uh, and we put 0 as the index value uh, in the square brackets. Let's see what we get. So first element from the list is printed. Similarly, for uh, third element, we declare index as 2. You can also access the last element using my list negative 1. This is a special way of uh, referring to the last element in the list. So let's see what we get. And we are indeed getting the last element. All right, this question asks, discuss different ways of deleting an element from a list. Removing elements from lists is a common operation in Python. Here we'll explore two effective methods. First one is the remove function. This function targets a specific element value and removes it from the list. Important uh, point to note is if the element doesn't exist in the list, remove will raise a value error. Second method is the pop function. This uh, function removes an element based on its index in the list. You can specify the index of the element you want to delete. Uh, and if you don't provide an index, pop removes the last element by default. So coming to the solution, we create a list with the numbers called list1 over here. Uh, let's first use the remove function. Uh, we try to remove element2 from this list. And then we print the updated uh, list4 observing the changes. Let's see what happens. As you can see, the uh, element2 is removed from the list. Now let's do the same using the pop function. Let's say we want to remove uh, the element at index 1. Remember indexing starts from 0. So we mentioned that and again using the print function, we observe the changes. So as you can see from the already uh, amended list that had these three elements, element at uh, index 1 which was 3 is now removed and we just have two elements. This question asks, write a code snippet to delete an entire list. Sometimes you might need to entirely wipe out the contents of a list in Python. The clear method makes this task effortless. Let's dive into how it works. We first create a list with numbers called list1 again. Then we simply call the clear method on our uh, list. This method removes all elements from the list, effectively making it empty. Finally, we may print the list again to demonstrate uh, that it's empty now and it indeed is. Alright, this next question asks, write a code snippet to reverse an array. Reversing the order of elements in an array is a common task in programming. Python offers a couple of techniques to achieve this, particularly when working with NumPy arrays. Let's explore uh, two effective methods. To start with, we first import NumPy. Thereafter, we create an array uh, called Array1 with elements 1, 2, 3, 4. NumPy flip function reverses the order of elements in array 1 and stores the result in array 2 uh, with this particular line of code. And finally, we print array 2 to observe the changes. So as we can see, it is reversed. Moving on to uh, method number 2. On the same array 1 that we created above, we use this particular notation this time around. It is a special slicing technique that uh, reverses the array elements without modifying the original array. Finally, we print uh, array2 to observe the changes. Again, as we can see, the elements have gotten flipped. This question asks, write a code snippet to access an element, delete an element, and update an element in a NumPy array. Interacting with array elements involves uh, accessing, removing, and modifying them. Python's uh, NumPy library provides efficient tools for uh, these tasks. Let's dive into how to achieve each one of these. First up, let's create uh, an array uh, with the name array1, having these numbers 1, 2, 3, 4. For accessing the elements, we use uh, uh, this particular notation uh, with uh, the index number in the square brackets. Let's say we want to access uh, the element at index 0. And as we can see, we are able to access 1, which is the index 0 element. For deleting an element, we use uh, this particular line of code, numpy.delete, 
and within brackets we specify the array on which we want to make changes and the particular index value uh, of the element that we want to delete. So over here we are uh, uh, trying to make changes to array 1 and uh, basically we want to delete uh, the uh, element at index 0. Let's see what happens. And yes, changes are done. Lastly, for updating, we use this particular line of code wherein we uh, specify the array and uh, the index value and uh, we sort of declare the new value and this modifies the original array uh, for this particular element. As we can see, uh, element at uh, index 1 has gotten updated to 100. This question asks, write a code snippet to concatenate lists. Combining the elements of two lists into a single list is known as concatenation. Python offers several ways to achieve this. Let's explore a technique using the zip function and list comprehension. For this, first of all, we create two lists, list1 and list2 with the text elements. The zip function here uh, pairs elements from both lists together, creating uh, tuples like uh, uh, w, e, a, r, e, and so on. The list comprehension, which is this, then iterates through these tuples, combining each pair of elements using the plus operator that we have in between these two. The combined elements are uh, stored in list 3, and uh, with the sprint function, we can observe the changes. And as we can see, we have uh, successfully concatenated the two lists. This question asks, write a code snippet to generate the square of every element of a list. So creating a new list with the squared values of elements from an existing list is a common task in Python once again. Let's explore two efficient methods to achieve this. Method number one, using a for loop and a list comprehension. Within this, we create a list first of all with the, these set of numbers. Thereafter, the list comprehension, which is this, iterates through a my list, squares each element, and uh, creates a new list called squared list. And finally, we print both the list to compare the changes. As you can see, all the elements from the new list are squared. In method number two, we use the map function. The map function applies a given function to each element of an iterable. This lambda function is a short anonymous function that squares its arguments. Then map applies this squaring function to each element of uh, my list. And finally, we wrap uh, map with the list to convert the results into a list for clarity. And we print the changes to observe what happened. So as you can see, again, all the elements have squared. This question asks, what is the difference between split and join? So here's a comprehensive explanation of the difference between split and join in Python. Split and join are both functions of uh, Python strings, but they are completely different when it comes to functioning. The split method is used to create a list from strings based on some delimiter, for example, spaces. Here is an example of how to use the split method uh, in this particular uh, code cell. So as you can see, this particular uh, string has been splitted into a list and we can observe the changes. So as you can see, the split function has uh, splitted this particular uh, string uh, on the basis of the white spaces that were there between the words and a list has been created out of it. Thereafter, the join method is a built-in function of uh, Python's uh, string class that concatenates a list of uh, strings into a single string. It is called on a delimiter string and invokes with a list of strings to be joined. The delimiter string is inserted between each string in the list when the strings are concatenated. Here is an example uh, of how to use the join method. Here the list is joined with a hyphen in between. So guys, there you have it. The next time you appear for an interview, I hope these questions help you ace it. And if you want an answer to any specific question, let us know in the comment section and we'll answer your query. The next video in this series will soon come out to our channel. Hit the bell icon so that you do not miss it. Till then, goodbye and happy prepping.